Hey, welcome to my part two of building my trailer and boat. I decided to go with pressure treated 2x4 since I will be putting this thing in and out of the water a lot. I wanted to have something that would last a while. So I decided to cut off two feet since the carpet I bought specifically for this was only 12. Knowing that it doesn't leave enough room on the ends to fold over the carpet, I figured I could just cover it by some other means. Uh, once I finished that, I took this carpet glue, I started spreading it all along the wood. But uh, what's really nice about this glue is that when you're attaching the carpet, it allows you to move the carpet for a tighter fit unlike other glues that are a lot more sticky. Everything I'm using you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot. I think the glue is like specifically called like carpet glue for indoor and outdoor use. After doing this, I decided for extra reinforcement to use a staple gun along the seams. This will ensure that the carpet doesn't move while the glue dries. So I ended up the carpet did overlap a little bit, so I ended up stapling one side and then the other side, so that way it kind of zippered itself together. Once I was finally able to uh, get everything stapled down, I decided to walk across each of the boards just for just to add some pressure to it. That way the glue kind of sticks pretty good to that seam there and everything stays nice and flat and flush, nothing kind of curls up or anything like that. After doing that, I went ahead and started working on installing the brackets for the trailer. Since this is my very first build, I wasn't sure specifically what brackets these trailers have, but after a little Google searching, I found out they're called bunk brackets. I had to order new ones since the originals were rusted out. This is a jet ski trailer after all, so I decided to attach them to the widest pre-cut holes because my John boat is a bit wider. Uh, once I had the brackets lined up properly, I wasn't sure how to measure or center the bunks properly. So again, I just looked at some Google images. I noticed some smaller trailers, they kind of started right here at the point. So I just went off of that and it looked pretty good. After I was happy with one side, I went ahead and started with the other. I made sure to use washers on both ends of the bolts. I found that what worked best for me was attaching the bottom bolt first since I was working on this by myself and didn't really have anything to hold up. The brackets, they just wanted to keep sliding down so I ended up just tightening the bolt till the pressure held it up by itself but was still loose enough for me to adjust it to the appropriate height. After I finished up tightening everything down and lining it all up, I had to drill out some holes in the wood for the bolts to fit through and attach the bunks to the trailer. Again, I wasn't too worried about the ends of the bunk. I'll probably just protect the ends with paint or maybe just attach small pieces of square carpet so it looks flush. This part is actually pretty funny. I look over and freeze because I realized I put the washers on wrong. And since I wasn't using an extension on the ratchet, I had to struggle with the lip on the brackets. And as I was tightening the bolt down, it slipped on my hand and I ended up punching myself in the face. Pretty embarrassing, but hey, life goes on. And I end up finishing this thing Finally, so I decided to give you guys some slow-mo of everything up close and personal so you can see what I was working with and how it turned out.
Well, folks, finally got the wood on, but that sends a, a little fat. A little bit too, too much off the end there. So we're gonna probably move this forward some more and bolt it down. Once we do that, it should be pretty even, but yeah, this is, uh, this is turning out good for part two. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh my gosh, so freaking the weirdest thing, bro. This drain right here, it's pushing out muddy water. I was like, how the heck could it be pushing out muddy water? And then I walked down here to go fishing. And you guys will see this because this, this thing is crazy. So I go down here. And since all the water over there is, is like super dirty and muddy, I come over here. I'm like, maybe it's better over here. And there's freaking another drain pipe, but it's pushing dark, black, healthy water out. And I'm like, how? It's only like a street apart difference. And so then I realized it has to do with the soil. So the soil over here is black and then the soil over there is basically sand. But that's just so weird to me that just like one block down is totally different. But anyways. 